Yes, it seems that every bit of news about the new Bills stadium becomes a major headline, and that includes the latest word from the team that it has now chosen a new, different company to handle food and beverage. The current operator, Buffalo-based Delaware North, was one of four companies that bid, but it lost out to Legends Hospitality, co-founded by Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. In a moment, we'll talk with someone closely covering the new stadium on why this is a significant move and what it's going to mean for fans or anyone who goes out to Orchard Park. First, though, our Claudine Ewing was able to question Bill's executive vice president, Ron Rakuia, today. He said this is about a lot more than just those fewer than a dozen football games each year. In the new stadium, it is going to be a year round facility. We hope to have 200 plus events there every year. So the catering component to it um, was very important to the process and we felt like they had a lot of experience doing that in different venues. So we're talking about non-football events. We are. We're talking about community celebrations. We're talking about weddings, graduations, um, conferences, uh, tours. I know when I went to the new stadium in Dallas right after it was built and you get to tour it, you get to have parties in the locker room. Is that what we're expecting to see here? It is. You know, we, we've said from the beginning, the new stadium's not going to bring a lot more ticketed, ticketed events, um, you know, to Western New York because it's just not conducive to that. But the new stadium is going to bring a lot more events, um, community based, corporate, um, celebratory. So, yeah, that is exactly what we're talking about. The question, how much of an impact will this have? Joining us live right now is Tim O'Shy, reporter with the Buffalo News. Tim, always great to have you on the show here. Uh, I know you're covering this probably more closely than anybody else, and I wonder what you would say in terms of what we should know about Legends, how it operates in Dallas, LA, these other big venues, and how you think this is gonna change the experience come this new stadium when it opens in Orchard Park. Thanks, Michael. It's, it's always good to be here. And, you know, in one way, Legends landing this contract is not a surprise because they have been working on this Buffalo Bill Stadium project for a couple of years now. Um, Legends, as you pointed out a moment ago, is owned by Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. It was also co-founded by Yankees owner, former Yankees owner, the late George Steinbrenner. And really what it has evolved into is an all-in-one sports arena de development consulting corporation. What I mean by that, and I'll just use the Bills as a great example, they will work with sports teams to research the fan base in the market. They will work with a sports team and the architect to develop a design that meets the needs of that fan base in that market and meets the demands of it. And, and they can also, and this is what just happened, offer food and beverage and retail service to those sports teams. So it's one to the next to the next. Um, so, you know, what should fans expect? No matter who won the contract, they should expect better food. <laughs> and the reason they should expect better food, and, and that's not to say the food right now is not good, by the way. I actually like it. I eat the press box food. I think it is fantastic. Um, but they should expect better food because it's cooked fresher. They're going to have more kitchens, a lot more kitchens in the new stadium. Uh, those kitchens are going to be located, this sounds simple, inside the stadium. Right now, the, the major commissary for Highmark Stadium is located outside, um, which means you can't cook the food quite as fresh. So anybody who won this contract, whether it had been Delaware North or Legends or the other two finalists, we're going to have the opportunity to come in and really elevate what Bills fans experience. Um, Legends won it, we're told, because they were able to demonstrate how they would take that and kind of lock it in place so fans experience great food and great hospitality from the moment they show up at the game till the moment they leave the pregame the actual game and then the post game. That was what Ron Rakuya told us, set legends apart. Yeah, and as you were talking there, we were showing folks some video of the legends workers uh, at AT&T Stadium in Dallas, and you kind of get a sense of how big an operation it is. And you mentioned Ron Rakuya there, Tim. I want to play a little bit more of Claudine's conversation with him earlier today, uh, and specifically why it went to legends and not Delaware North. Listen to this. At the end of the day, we felt Legends provided us with a little something different for our fans and the fan experience, and they understood what we were looking for in the new stadium. Um, but, you know, like I said, we were really pleased with the process and the thoroughness of it uh, and look forward to continuing our relationship with Delaware North here and at KeyBank Center and then also transitioning to Legends. So, Tim, as someone who has covered this very closely, were you surprised 
that it that it was legends here um, and not Delaware North just because Delaware North is headquartered in Buffalo long relationship or does it just go back to what you were mentioning there that that legends is involved in so many different aspects of this of this new stadium. The big I wasn't to answer the question straight. No, I wasn't surprised. I would have been surprised if um, Sodexo or Levy restaurants, which were the other two finalists, if either of them had won it over Delaware North or over Legends, that would have been a bit, that would have been a big upset. You could see where the bills, and again, this is all from the outside. There, there's we can get into this if you want, but there's relationships and there's there's um, you, know, you know who's been in on this project longer. There's a lot of details like that, but. Um, Delaware North has been in this stadium since I think it's 1992, over 30 years, as they pointed out today in their statement. Had they continued and been given the opportunity to do good work with much better facilities, I don't think that would have been a shock. It might have been a surprise to some, given how involved Legends is. Um, but no, because Legends has been involved in this project, because there is clearly a relationship um, between Jerry Jones and the Buffalo Bills, and certainly legends in the Buffalo Bills. And what I mean by that is there is a working relationship. They have worked together to develop this stadium the whole way. Um, it's not surprising that legends has been given this contract to just keep doing the work they're doing. Tim, um, in your article uh, that you published today in the Buffalo News, you talked also about the workers. And I, I didn't realize this, but Legends had already taken over, I guess, some of the merchandising at, at the Bills Stadium store. And what happened was the, the people who worked there before just moved over to Legends. I mean, is the expectation is that that's what would happen here with the new stadium? It is. Uh, I mean, in general, it is. I can't say it quite that specifically, but, um, but here's what we know. Uh, my colleague at the Buffalo News, Mike Petro, who covers sports business, uh, wrote a great piece um, a few weeks back, I think it was it was earlier this spring, maybe in March, about the transition of the Bills store from Delaware North to Legends. Um, and all of those, are, or almost all, I think it might have been all of those employees from Delaware North who worked at the Bills store shifted over to become Legends employees. Now we're talking, I'm not sure exactly how many people we're talking, but it's like dozens, not hundreds and thousands, like, we're, you know, as would be the case with the food and beverage contract. Um, but I have talked to legends in, in more detail, and what they told me is, you know, in the end, they are going to have 2,000 or so game day employees. They're going to have about 30 full-time executive employees. This is all by 2026 when the stadium opens. Um, when that happens, they're expecting a lot of those 30 employees, those executives, to have ties to the Buffalo market or be from the Buffalo market. And, you know, as you would suspect, those 2,000 game day employees will be almost exclusively people who are already in Western New York. Because many of those people are Delaware North employees right now, you're gonna see legends, and by extension the Bills, but really legends, be very, very careful in how they talk about one day hiring those people. Um, but when the time is right, when they are able to do it, you can be assured that's what they're gonna to look to do, at least for the part-time employees. Executive positions are obviously um, you know, far more competitive, but um, people, people here who have great culinary experience and think they could do a good job with it. Um, Legends has told me you know, those are the kind of people we wanna to talk to. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It might not seem like a big deal who got the contract to do food and beverage at the Bills Stadium. But as you know, everything having to do with that new Bills Stadium draws huge interest. So Tim Oshai, reporter with the Buffalo News, uh, thanks for, for helping us understand your reporting. Thanks, Michael.